So yeah, this episode we're going to be talking a whole lot about reboots, remakes, sequels of 1980s media that uh, we've been promised. Mm -hmm. Whether or not, I guess, Hollywood is delivering or plans mm. to deliver. Uh, and including in these just these brand new stories that just came out in the last couple of weeks uh, because it was just reported. Well, let me take a step back. This began actually in September of 2020. The, the Hollywood Reporter at that time uh, had mentioned, the Hollywood Reported, that Ryan Gosling <laughs> and director David Leach, do you know how to say this, John? Leach? Leach? It's the, uh, he co-directed John Wick. He directed uh, Deadpool 2. Uh, I, I think Tom it's Leach. Blanc. I've only... Maybe only heard it said a couple times. Yeah, I think you're right. Uh, I suppose see Leach. Yeah. David Leach were tackling a quote, this is 2020, a quote, fall guy style stuntman movie. That's 2020. Uh, mm -hmm. In fact, studios mm -hmm. at that time had just com completed a bidding war, and Universal came out on top with a $125 million offer uh, to get the rights for the film. Well, just uh, flash forward now to just a short time ago, it's been confirmed that Ryan Gosling will star in The Fall Guy. Now it actually is The Fall Guy. Uh, which is an adaptation mm -hmm. of the iconic 1980s uh, TV series. Um, I is guess it confirmed, some... or is it just like Australia's talking about it, in, or New Zealand, or whatever? <laughs> it okay, seems like you just blew my joke. You just blew my joke. Oh no! Oh, let's pause. I'm cutting that out. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna, I'm gonna cut it out. Here we go. And like any archetypically American TV show, it will shoot in Sydney, Australia. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> was it Sorry. worth it? No, it was probably wasn't that worth it. Um, what were you saying, Cap? Is it really official or what? Nothing. I lost my train. Of <laughs> oh, wow. You were saying, is it official or is Australia just bragging about it? Or something? Well, th th this article just seemed like a whole lot of Australia. Come here, come here, come make like, a movie uh, tourism, here. We're going to throw uh, money at you. Right. Come here. And, yeah, right. and, <laughs> and it was being talked about widely over there mm -hmm. that Ryan Gosling was to be in the movie. But I was wondering, is he actually going to be in the movie? <laughs> It's a ploy to lure tourists over there. Well, because oh. at the end of the article, yep. it says Ryan Gosling's people couldn't be reached for comment, or we oh, got no okay, comment yeah, no. from. <laughs> so... No, he's long been attached to it for for a while now. Okay, mm. all yes. right. Yes, it is Ryan official. Gosling. He's Australian for fall guy. <laughs> is that what you've been working on? I saw the wheels That's turning. All I no, no. I, I, no so I gotta, let me send John that miles truck again. You know, go ahead. <laughs> oh, I. I'm boycotting a Fall Guy movie. I don't care oh. where you shoot it. Okay. Doesn't oh. matter. I'm boycotting, boycotting? because yeah. I'm uh -oh. still waiting on the <laughs> the decade long development yeah. hell cycle for the first Lee Majors franchise that is yet to <laughs> manifest. Okay. Yes, yes. The six million dollar oh. man. Yes. Oh, wait, yeah. oh. Are you kidding? It's just, look, oh. if you're going to jump ahead to the Fall Guy, mm -hmm. no, no, no. Go back and get my six million dollar man, which mm -hmm. has had Mark Wahlberg attached oh. on an offer. Right. Yeah. Half a decade at least, and just, mm -hmm, you know. Mm -hmm. I get you know, it now. I get what it. Would a, what would a bionic man be today? Would it be so thrilling? I mean, when we were kids, the idea that a guy could be like what we would today describe as a cyborg, mm -hmm. you know, fighting mm -hmm. bad guys and fighting other cyborgs in some instances, well, yeah. uh, would it just be the Winter Soldier? Would it be, you know? I mean, we've <laughs> got right, tons right. of superheroes that have uh, enhancements. Yeah. Well, I mean, the $6 million man was based on a novel called Cyborg, and oh. that was the premise. Okay. But it's just that... I think, um, uh, what the hell's his name again? Lee Majors? No. <laughs> I think Mark, Mark, Mark Wahlberg has even said on a couple of oh, occasions oh. that it would effectively be like a modern superhero film. You know, he's oh, just sure. a super powered person working mm -hmm. for someone. But anyway, mm -hmm. it was still your thunder from the fall guy, but I'm boycotting the fall guy until I get my six. It's going to be called the six billion dollar man. With a yeah, that's the other apparently. thing. Yeah. It's better. Yeah. Better right. You, you don't get much bionic <laughs> man for six mil in these oh, days. Yeah. <laughs> Well, Kat, to your point or your question or your to your skepticism, just a few days ago, Deadline confirmed that Emily Blunt has now joined this cast oh. to co-star with Gosling. And they've also announced that the film has a release date, March 2024. Oh. Said, you know, who knows? That stuff, like we're going to talk about when we go through this list, a lot of these films have release dates and then they just come and go and then the films yes. never manifest. Mm. Uh, if you don't know, Fall Guy was created by Glenn Larson, who created... So many TV shows that we loved when we were kids, Battlestar Galactica, Magnum mm -hmm. P.I., uh, and mm -hmm. about uh, sort of what we teased already, Lee Major started it, and he plays a stuntman who moonlights as a bounty hunter. I mean, that, that mm -hmm. premise alone, come on. Yes. It, it's, <laughs> Fall Guy's great, and, and Lee Major sings yeah. possibly the yes. worst sung theme song <laughs> the ever. The worst? <laughs> well, well, yeah. It was, well, he's not a great vocalist, That's but true. it was him, and it made mm -hmm. the show kind of grounded and genuine. Yeah, <laughs> yeah there was something that made it seem more... Hmm, I don't want to say realistic when we were kids, but that the guy who was starring, it was it was like uh, Colt was singing the song, 
And so mm-hmm. right. somehow yeah, made right. it seemed more that's real. Yes. <laughs> like a documentary. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Yes, yes. <laughs> I wasn't a smart real. <laughs> Oh, and uh-huh. Heather Locklear. Ooh. Oh, th- yes. <laughs> Douglas Barr <laughs> uh, was a sidekick. <laughs> Yeah, the show ran from 81 to 86, and, uh, and originally back in 2013, Dwayne Johnson was actually going to be performing as a uh, <laughs> Colt Seaver part, but that's since... Wow. That's a bit much. Uh, you know, yeah, that would be, no. yeah, yeah, a little over the top. <laughs> and uh, actually, I want to see John react yeah. to Heather again. That was okay. interesting. Did you see what he did there? I didn't. I was looking no. at my paper. He started going, mm, 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 mm. <laughs> I heard it. <laughs> mm, 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 mm. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> made the, made that show watchable. And David Leach, who was set, who's who's going to be directing, as I mentioned, he was a, he was just about to direct a thriller, Fast and Loose, for Netflix that was starring Will Smith. But in March <laughs> of this year, for some reason, he departed the project oh, and decided goodness. instead. What could have happened? Father. I don't know. <laughs> we have to dig into that. Let's, but you know, we need to John, research I'm, that. <laughs> I'm glad you mentioned uh, Heather Locklear has having been on the Fall Guy because this actually reminded me. Now, once again, it's time to play. My name is Uh Heather. No, it's not Heather. (laughs) What? I've got a list of shows here that either starred or had appearances by Heather Locklear or Heather Thomas. Or both. Ooh. So I'm going to name a show here, and you tell me whether Heather Locklear, Heather Thomas, or both appeared in them. They were roughly the same age. They were both icons in the 1980s. Uh, Heather Locklear went on to do things throughout the 90s and so on, and Heather Thomas took a break from performing for a while. She had a number mm-hmm. of different challenges that uh, she was uh, facing um, uh-huh. and since uh, come out to the other end of it. Okay, here you go. Number one, The Fall Guy. Now, and I should give you a little thing here. They may not have just starred on it. They may have also just appeared on it. Mm-hmm. The Fall Guy, what do you think? Heather Locklear, Heather Thomas, or both? Well, we know Heather Locklear was in it. She was a st- starring role. But really? I wouldn't put it past them to have Heather Thomas on the show. I mean, it's possible. Mm. Okay, so you say both, possibly. I, what I'm, do you think, Cat? What do you think, Cat? Uh, I say Heather Thomas was in the show. That's right. <laughs> was it Heather Thomas? Not Heather, Heather Thomas really? was the star of the show. She played oh, Jody Banks, the stunt other oh, stunt actor. This is one of those Heathers. In a sense, you're both right. <laughs> John was wrong in that regard, but you're both right because Heather Locklear actually made a guest appearance twice on the show as two different characters. Oh. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. All right, I how have about a feeling, uh, John, yep. regardless of which Heather, John's going to go. <laughs> They're both fine. Oh, there's God. no problem with it. I yeah. had a poster yeah. of Heather Thomas that, that I caught at. There's a, there's a series of shots in different posters, but there's one that I think like m- most people can think of. What are you doing? The Doors. Is it the one where she's no, coming through I the doors? She's no? in a That's an opening bikini. credits. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. No, this was like a pose thing. It's not oh. from the show. Oh. I want to say she's okay. like standing in a tub, maybe, or getting out oh. of a tub. I, I, I'll, I'll share it with you. And you'll hang it on your wall. All right, how about <laughs> BJ and the Bear and The Misadventures of Sheriff Lobo, which is actually a, a spinoff of BJ and the Bear. And I think both of those are Glenn Larson shows too, actually. Mm. Was it Heather Thomas, Heather Locklear, or both? Oh, man. Now, <clears throat> see, so now <sighs> I Just want to both say, every time. time. Well, well, no, but I have the Heathers confused in my mind. And yeah. so uh-huh. in my mind, I'm thinking that's Locklear. So now. You got to see the opposite. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't know. There's no Maybe prize. it's Heather Thomas. No, it's Heather Thomas is the one that starred in Fall Guys. So I'm going to say. Yeah, there's I'm gonna a lot say riding Locklear. on this. I'm going to say Locklear. Locklear. Yeah, it's, it seems plausible. I'm going to go Sorry. with. Sorry. Oh, was no. Heather <laughs> Thomas. <laughs> Ugh. I was going to go with you, but... <laughs> it's it's never, never locked clear. That's the message. All right, how about You're Dynasty? Dynasty. <laughs> Dynasty. Heather Locklear, Heather Thomas, or both? I don't know. My voice goes on at the end. It goes up. <laughs> it's because no. you're thinking about Heather Thomas. That's why. And maybe that's why. <laughs> I was um, thinking of Heather Locklear. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Just take but a guess. To You're not know. Heather Locklear or Heather Thomas or both. Dynasty. I'm going to say both. You're wrong. Heather Locklear was on the Locklear. show. She played yeah. Sammy Oops. Joe throughout the entire run. We're talking about, I don't know, yeah. like yes. 185 episodes or something. All right, TJ really like Hooker. Hmm. Heather Locklear, Heather Thomas, or both. And I'll give you a clue. One of them actually, the <laughs> one of them starred in the show. Oh. Yeah. Alongside Shatner. I think that was, oh, man. This is all you. I never saw that show. See, now their faces are blurring in my mind. <laughs> oh, no. 
you, you know the you know the thing where you where they say you know like oh I haven't seen you in so long I can't I can't picture your face and now I can't picture their face. And no, I, I got to tell you, John, I I had this game prepared just in case when you guys got them mixed up. When you said it well, wrong with, at the beginning, I was like, oh my god, congratulations this is, <laughs> for you. This is great. And I'm glad right, you did CJ. this because I was reading about no, the no. show and I was like, no, wait a so, minute. <laughs> I think it was Heather Thomas. That's what I think. I think that's who was in TJ Hooker's that we're talking about. TJ yeah. Hooker. Hooker. Yeah. Right, right, right. Yeah. No. Oh, no. No. Is it Locklear? I cannot. See, it's, they're the same person. Have you ever seen them together? <laughs> I have not. Well, you could because Heather Locklear played Officer Stacey Sheridan throughout the series, but Heather Thomas guest starred on one episode with her. So oh. there you go. All right, how about the, how about the movie Zapped? Remember in 1982? No, wait, wait. I can look up a picture now so I know what the hell I'm okay, talking yeah, about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, boy. <laughs> oh, I should have had that ready for you. Oh, there we go. That could have been uh, something for us to look at here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm looking at it right now. I got the poster on the wall right here. Oh, it's something to look at. Yes. Okay. Anyway, yes. What are we talking about? (laughs) What was the one? (laughs) Something to look at. Which one are we talking about now? (laughs) We're talking about the movie Zapped. The movie Zapped. 1982 (laughs) Scott Bayo movie with, uh, what was the name? Uh, Willie. uh, Ames, ultimately the guys that were in Charles and Charge together, they had a film in either Heather Thomas or Heather Locklear who was in it, or both. I say Locklear. I'm clearly unqualified. <laughs> Just try to go with the opposite of what I'm you think. Sure. Right, yeah, so I, All right, if I were going to cast let's, that, let's give it to if, I, if I were casting the movie, I would put Heather Thomas <laughs> oh, in it. Man. Yes, Cat's oh. wrong, you're right, because I already said Cat was wrong. All right, whatever. <laughs> Just yeah, edit it. Sound like I got one right, please. We just can talk about it. that film because it started as a <laughs> PG up. film, and then somewhere during production, they decided to make it R, probably because oh. Porky's had been a success just around like a year before that. Mm. And so they cut a bunch of they 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 shot some new footage to add in there to make it more hardcore, including making it seem as if Heather Thomas at some point is topless, which she's not, mm-hmm. and she okay. didn't know they were going to do that. Oh, hmm. um, the Love Boat. Hmm. Both. Well, I, I can't imagine. <laughs> That's right. The entirety of Love Boat. It's, it's got to be both. Yeah. yeah, <laughs> yeah. Too much time. I'm just going with whoever said that. <laughs> yes, they both appeared on there. Appeared on there, but actually, Heather Thomas appeared on more episodes with the uh, three. All right, oh. Fantasy Island. Both. I would think both there too. You're wrong. Only oh. Heather Thomas. Oh. And finally, who uh, appeared in the Return of the Swamp Thing? If you remember, that was a TV show. Uh, hmm. Came out in the late '80s, 1989. Uh, I think it was similar to the supposed to be similar to the Adrian Barbeau film that uh, had her opposite mm-hmm. the Swamp Thing. Either Heather Locklear or Heather Thomas, or both. I got nothing. Well, Locklear more closely resembles Adrian Barbeau. So that's that's what right. I would oh, wait. Now you know what she looks like. Oh, you have a picture there. Yeah. Okay. Wow. I have a picture. I had to. Right. Gotcha. Right, it's right, still. Right. I'm having trouble focusing on the faces, though. It's problematic. Okay. I'm gonna <laughs> close this tab. That's why he doesn't know the difference. <laughs> he never panned up in his entire <laughs> life. <laughs> All right. Hey, and I don't know if anybody cares about that. I do. 